Summertime, obviously a slow time for students and the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. But somebody is working overtime, trying for an easy score of cash and other valuables. Five, five home invasions have happened in students' homes just this month. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner live on the scene of the very latest, the corner of North Ingalls and East Ann Street. And Jim, anybody been hurt yet in any of those home invasions? No injuries, Stephen. No known weapons. But this one happened at 9 o'clock this morning in a really busy neighborhood. Just about any direction you look, you can see students and other people walking. This is the house where this one happened. Now, a home invasion means an intruder while people are inside. And at 9 o'clock this morning, a student wakes up to this crime in progress. My uh, housemate said he woke up and there's a man in his room. And as soon as he woke up, the guy ran off, but he took his wallet. Ann Arbor police are trying to connect the dots and possible connections. The first two home invasions happened on Sunday, July the 2nd, just hours apart and one block apart. The next day, one in the afternoon on South Division, July 9th at 4 a.m. on Arch Street. The door was kicked in there and today at 9 a.m. I um, lived on a third floor and there was always weird people walking by, so my roommate and I put an extra lock on ours. Thousands of students live in Ann Arbor during the summer months. With this trend, they're staying closer together, watching each other more closely. We all live in the area. I mean, it can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone's home. So, I mean, we just have to be careful. Yep. That's really it. Police say there are similarities in three of the five cases. Clothing has been different, but the victims are giving a description of a heavy set black male in his 20s and today wearing a gray hoodie. There's not a good enough description to draw a composite of a face. Never really thought that this was an unsafe place. I mean, we try to lock our doors, but we haven't really thought about it a lot, but now we definitely will. So maybe students a little too trusting. The word from police here tonight, keep your doors locked at all times, especially after incident number five. Live in Ann Arbor, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.